Hi, it's Cindy from the Osterville Library, and we have so much going on this summer, I wanted to tell you in person and try to break it down for you. So the first thing in July is we have the paddleboard sale going on out on the library green. That is going to be for three days over before July 4th weekend, so make sure you come by and get your paddleboard. After that, we have um, five houses that are going to be available for you to view their magnificent gardens for the Hydrangea Fest. We have the list of the library and each house is five dollars to go visit and it supports the library. We have a great array of houses from cocktail gardens to book gardens to Italian Renaissance. And you're sure to find something that you want to go home and redesign your whole backyard. After the Hydrangea Fest, we have Tails and Tails, the 45 foot inflatable whale that you can actually go inside and be truthful when you say you were swallowed by a whale. So make sure you come by for that and bring the kids. Also on July 11th, we have Ted Reinstein from Boston's uh, Channel 5 Chronicle. He's gonna be talking about his book, book, Wicked Pissa, about all the rivalries and things in Boston. So that's sure to be a great event. Next on the 15th, we have the Human Library. This is an internationally recognized program where people become books and you could have a conversation with somebody that you may not have an opportunity to normally have a conversation with. It really is an amazing event and I hope you will put it on your calendar. On Village Day, we start the day with our road race. So I hope you register because the first 175 people are gonna get one of these fantastic knit hats that light up. You just push this and it'll light up so when the time changes, you can go run. Next, later in that day, we have plein air. There's going to be 20 artists painting all around the village, capturing all the beautiful landscapes. And here's some examples of some of the beautiful artwork. That's going to be for sale under the tent while the artists are painting. And then at 2 o'clock, you can come um, back and bid on the wet paint, but all the other artwork will be available for sale under the tent during the day. Then the next night, the Osterville Library, in honor of the Cape the Osterville Veterans Association 75th anniversary is having the singing trooper Dan Clark and his soprano wife Mary singing on the Calvin C. Gould Library Green. So make sure you come to that. It is a great patriotic event that you will not want to miss. Then we still have more. On Tuesday the uh, 19th, we're going to have 20 Cape Cod writers underneath the tent and they're going to be uh, highlighting all their books and you get a chance to meet the authors, talk to them and learn about the books that they write. And then even more, we have Skinner Auctions. What is it worth? Do you have something laying around? I found this book that's like plated and I'm sure these are rubies here and it's going to be worth a fortune and I'm going to be able to retire after I bring this to them. But what treasures do you have that you can bring to the Skinner event? It's similar format to the Antique Roadshow. But you can bring your items and um, get your tickets to come and join in on the day. So I hope you'll join us. You can come by the library and pick up the summer soiree and see all the information. Plus, we have a whole lot of events that I didn't talk about. So please stop by the library this week and plan your summer because you don't have to leave Osterville. Thank you.